Hello doctor. I've been having some trouble staying awake for the past few weeks. I sleep well at night but just always feel tired. Hello. Yes that does seem quite unusual but before we get to that, I was taking a quick look over your charts and it says you're an actuary. I tried that briefly before I found my calling in medicine. The one thing that I would always get stuck on was annuities. They baffled me as much as a cure for cancer. They're not so hard. Annuities are just a regular series of payments. They are used in many walks of life. Most people have paid or received an annuity but have never known that's what they are called. They can be paid in many ways, such as in arrears or advance, immediately or deferred for a time. They are denoted by a small letter R, with a subscript N, showing the length of time which the annuity will continue for. Still with me? Yes, I think so. Good. The a subscript N can be rewritten as 1 minus V, to the power of N, all divided by D, or I, or delta, depending on the type of annuity used. When they are made in advance, the amount is paid up front at the beginning of the time period they correspond to. For example, when you pay your mortgage each month this is a monthly annuity. If you pay at the beginning of every month it is a monthly annuity in advance. The notation for an annuity in advance differs to that of an annuity in arrears by adding two dots above the R. Wow, that does seem pretty simple when you put it like that. I can think of many ways in which I've used annuities before. But what do all the V and D bits stand for? The V is a discounting factor used to find the present value of the money used in the annuity in the future. It is equal to 1 divided by 1 plus I. This is a piece of notation used very often in actuarial science. The D is simply equal to 1 minus V and is used in annuities which are paid in advance. The I that you see used in nearly all calculations is the interest rate used. This varies quite a lot in a fixed value for I may be chosen at the start of the annuity, or an unfixed value that matches the current market value for I may be used. Yes, yes I know that one. It's all coming flooding back now. The number of lectures I spent trying to understand how to convert yearly interest rates to monthly ones is ridiculous. Anyway, your tiredness is probably being caused by all the revision you're doing. Take it easy for a while. Maybe try working on an economics module instead. Could I get that in writing? 